welcome to modern e-commerce store in php and mysql friends from this video i am going to start the new updates of this course like i shall make it uh, the multi vendor and stock management system variable products and a lots of other things so i hope that you will like all these new updates which were promised before so i scroll it down i would like to show you something like first of all you will see that this is the review system which will be made and this is the variable price because it is a variable product so this price begin from 900 dollar to 1400 dollar scroll it down and you will also see this price it is range is 1000 to 509 5900 dollar now i go to shop i click over shop and i scroll it down you are watching these products so this is the first product which i opened it is a variable product this is the product title name this one is also and this is its processor it is a variable product so it has the attributes like you will see that if i click over processor memory and storage it has the different options all these you can select any one of it storage so you can see that its price also is being changed by changing all these attributes now i select the 8 gb and 512 gb so it now its price is 1100 dollar and four items in the stock you will see that this message is also showing under it now it is design also has been changed now i have added two new features one is vendor info and second one is review so this is the additional information the processor memory and storage this is the processor information this is the memory and it is the storage and this is the vendor info this new tab has been added it is about the vendor information store name vendor name address and everything and the rating is also showing which is relating to this vendor so this is the reviews tab i have clicked over it so all the reviews are showing which are relating to this product and this vendor it is rating is 3.7 based on 10 ratings 5 stars 4 4 stars 2 3 stars 2 and 2 stars 1 and 1 star 1 have you used this product before if you want to rate it click over write a review so this is the page write a review your review of this product here you will write the title and here you will under it you will write the reviews detail and click over submit review then your review will be submitted but now i would like to cancel it and come back to this product now once again i click over reviews so if you want to see the uh, positive reviews at this stage all reviews are showing here including positive and negatives but if i click over it here you will see the only positive reviews now only if you click over negative then only negative reviews will be shown so this new system has been added into this updates now i click over shop page and i would like to show you the product which is out of stock which is not inside the stock so i shall click over this product and you will see that it is add to cart and add to wish list button these two buttons it first is out of stock it is not in the stock and two buttons which is relating to add to cart and add to wish list are not showing go back to shop 
and I open the powder which is inside the stock. Now you are watching these two buttons are showing here because this product is inside the stock. But this product which is out of stock, these two buttons are not showing because nobody can buy it because it is not in the stock. So this stock management system has been included in this updates. Now once again, I click over vendor info and if I click over this vendor name, this vendor name, then all this first you will see the link and all this vendor information will be shown over this page. This is the vendor store, awesome tech store. It is title, address, telephone number, email address and rating are showing and you can filter this vendor products through these filters. Whatever the products are relating to this vendor. Click over jackets, you will see the jackets. Click over men and XPS and Apple. So we'll see that this Apple MacBook Pro is showing which is relating to this vendor. Now once again I click over shop. This is the shop page and you will see this link shop.php. If uh, now I shall add few products into the cart. So first I shall change it is attributes. I have changed them. Now I click over add to cart. I shall add four, four different vendors products into the cart to explain you about this system. Now I shall add the other product. Now I shall not change uh, this uh, variable product attributes. I shall add it same because it is by Brock Lesnar. First of all, the other vendor two items into the cart. Now I add this one. This by is Muhammad Tahir Ahmed. It is vendor. I shall not change his attributes. Click add to cart. Now I shall add the last fourth one into the cart. It has a, diff a different vendor. It is Saad Ahmed vendor. This is the title of this memory processor and storage. So I add it into the cart. Now four items are in the cart. Now I go to cart button, cart page, sorry. So you will see that this is it is processor, memory, storage, and it is vendor is Kree Nakapur. This one. And second one is this one. This CPU and RAM storage. And this vendor is Brock Lesnar. This is the third one. This is it is memory processor. This vendor is Muhammad Tahir Ahmed. And you will see that this is the shipping type. You will see that the all these four item shipping types are showing. This is the first one is Krina ship, Kapoor shipping. This one. Second one. It is the next day order. This one actually it is a simple shipping type, not the sample. It is a spelling mistake, so sorry for it. Second one is Brock Lesnar, and it is shipping type is standard. Checked already. And third one is Muhammad Tahir Ahmed, which is not showing because the the customer shipping address is different, which has been not added here. So then there are this message showing this is Muhammad Tahir Ahmed. There are no shipping type matched available for your address. Contact us if you need any help. If the customer address will not match, then this message will be shown. Later on, I shall explain you more about it. <clears throat> now I would like to just show you that this message is showing because the third vendor, Muhammad Tahir Ahmed shipping product shipping type is showing, but it is shipping types are not showing, which are the simple or 
standard or speedy. <coughs> now this is the third one, Sadamad, this vendor, Sadamad. It is shipping type is also showing. So now if I click or proceed to checkout, this is the checkout.php page and you will see that all these shipping types are showing except the Muhammad Tahar Ahmed. So I, when I shall change it is zip code, then it will begin to show because this area is not included in it. Therefore, this message is showing. Now I shall change it is zip code, postcode or zip code. Then you will see that this Muhammad Tahar Ahmed shipping type also has begun to show here economy and other one so now you can see that all four shipping types are showing and now this order nodes this new field has been included in this updates so now the customer can write the note copy this text and paste it here the admin please ship my order as soon as possible now i scroll it down i select the first one the second one is Brock, simple shipping. Third one is Sot, speedy. And now I shall click over P offline. First is the Krina. Second one is Brock Lesnar. You will say third one is Muhammad Tahir. And fourth one is Saad Ahmed. I mean, all four vendors are different. Now I check the P offline and click over place order. Your order has been submitted successfully. Thanks. So now you yeah, customer can buy different vendors products and those vendors products will be sent to that customer so this is the sub orders section which has been made here this order has products from multiple vendors so we divided this order into multiple vendor orders each order will be handled by their respective vendor independently so order number, invoice number, order date, order status, and order total. Everything is being shown on it, on this section. You can see here, you can see the customer details is also showing. Sadamad phone number and order note. So if you want to watch it, you will click over the view. If I click over here, go for my account, then this is the my account and all that account. If I click over view here, then this order detail is showing here under this sub order two here in the customer account. The same section, same table is showing here also. So if I click over view, you will see the full detail of this order and this is it is specific ID is showing in the link. This is the title, product title, processor and vendor name is also showing. You will see everything. This is the shipping. Shipping type is also showing here. And this is uh, this order note is also showing here. Now I go back and if I click over the second order which has the different vendor. So you will see that this vendor is Brock Lesnar, not the Krina Kapoor. So title, product title, and you will see that this is, it is shipping. It is a simple shipping types, not the sample. As I said, that is a spelling mistake. I shall correct it. So this vendor is Muhammad Tahir Ahmed. And its shipping type is economy. The different sh shipping type is also showing here. Now I click over the last one and you will see that each vendor is said, saw that I'm at this one. And this uh, shipping type is, it is shipping type is speedy. Mean you can choose the different vendors product and you can choose, select the different shipping types. Like it is shipping type is speedy one, two days. You can select the economy, speedy or standard or simple. So till this, I think till this level, you will have understood everything that how I have made this multi-vendor stock management system and reviews system. So now friend, I shall show you that how can you 
log in as a, as a vendor. So first I shall log out from here. I log out it. First I have been signed in as a customer. Now I click over register and I would like to show you this register form also. Here one new field. This customer username has been added into this form. First it was not here. And second this is the customer role. I am a customer or I am a vendor. So whoever the new visitor will come will select his role, his or her role and then fill this form and then make his or her account on this website. If he or she is a vendor then he will make his account as a vendor. If he is a customer then he will uh, click over I am just a customer. Fill all this, we will fill all this form and click over register. Then he will be registered. So now I shall log in as a vendor because first I have shown you everything as a customer. Now I shall log in here as a vendor and I would like to show you the vendor dashboard. Email sart-amad at gmail.com and password is password. P A W S W R D. Login. I did a mistake in writing someone, something once again, sart-amad and password is password. P A W S W R D. Login. At this time, I have been logged in. You are logging. And now this is the vendor dashboard. You will see here vendor underscore dashboard index.php. This is the index.php page of vendor dashboard. So this is the vendor dashboard. You will see everything is showing vendor image and sales. This is the sales chart, earnings, how um, many rupees this vendor has earned. Or oh, this website, page view 63, order 16. This is the products and bundles. This vendor products and wonder and he can insert new products through this button. Insert new products, all products, eight, active seven, and past one, and pending review is zero. His products pending review is zero. So view all products, he can click over it and view all his products. And insert new products from top and view all products through this link. So this is the orders. All order 16, processing 2, completed 7, pending 7, cancelled and refunded 00. All the chart on uh, this vendor dashboard is showing to you. And this is the reviews chart. All 6, active 5 and pending 0. And spam is also 0. And 1 review is in the trash. He can also, vendor has also access to delete the review. So now I have clicked over view products. Vendor can watch all the products. And this, these are the all products. He can see the active product. First I pass it. One product I pass. So now you will see one product has been passed successfully. Now one product is in the pass. You will see that this is a pass. Product status pass. If I click over pass, you will see that this product has been passed. So vendor can pass the product, he can activate and pending. When admin will approve it, now I activate it once again, his product will be activated. If I click over view, so vendor can also view the preview of his product. That how it looks like over the website. Now I activate it. Once again, one product has been activated successfully and live on website. Now once again, it has been active. And he can edit and vendor can delete this product and insert new product through this button also. Friend, I, so I shall, I, if I click over it, you will see that this insert new product form, the vendor will fill this form and insert new product. But I shall come back in next video to tell you that how can vendor insert new product.